all right now we will learn about meta characters meta characters allows you to write regular expressions pattern that are even more compact let me show you an example now if i want to match any digit that is same as 0 to 9 in that case what i'm going to give i'm going to give backward slash and then i'm going to give digits over here there you can see which matches any digit that is same as 0 to 9 here you can find 8 5 6 3 0 3 2 1 9 what not and then it will give us all the matches over there now if you want to get all the matches of any letter digit and underscore character then we are going to use slash backward slash w this is nothing but word okay which it will give any letters digits and underscore characters if you want to match the white spaces there you can see in my string i'm having some spaces over here and the tabs over there right in that case i'm going to use yes over there then if you see the s matches any white space character irrelevant of the slash or slash n slash t slash f slash v there you can see it is trying to identify all the spaces over there and the tabs over there and slash t is there where is the tab characters only in a such a way t stands for t there you can see over here i'm having tab over there which is the position 78 to 79 all right now we are going to be learning a little bit so far so that we can write the expressions in a such a way which is the five letter words it there for the letter five what i am going to use i'm going to use w and then we are going to give letter of five right so that i need to identify five letters there you can see i'm having digit and symbol and also we are having irrespective of the digit or underscore or any letter it is trying to identify all the five letters right in a such a way i'm going to use over here you can see the phone number that i'm having this indian format we are having the digits and then i'm going to give 11 or i'm going to give 10 over here in that case indian phone number having 10 digits so that i'm going to give slash d of 10 which it will give 10 digits over here now if i want to repeat it to there you can see i have given one more value over here which is a 10 letter there you can find it out the slash 10 slash d with the flower brackets as 10. these are all the meta characters which we are going to use that is slash d slash w slash s slash t all right now proceeding further we are having special characters special characters takes us a step further into writing more advanced patterns such as plus question mark star slash escape character gate notation under one do notation let me explain you one by one now if i'm going to use plus symbol it will identify one or more quantifiers which are preceding characters must exist and can be optionally duplicated for an example if you see i'm having cat if i'm going to mention c plus at then what it will do if you see on the left hand side it is having cat optional and then all the values it will get it you can see cat 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 and plus symbol it is nothing but optional if i'm having in such a way c b a t if you see over here on the left hand side i don't have anything right this is b a t now if i'm going to give one more example i'm having b c a t then it will identify the reason is that now the plus symbol it will be identified as a quantifiers which are preceding characters or on your left you can say it okay then in that case what it will give the exact match that is cat multiple repetitive c's cat and also it will give the multiple repeating preceding characters as many times as you like all right now if i'm going to use question mark over here then it is zero or one quantifier preceding character is optional there you can see i'm having one preceding over here but this cat it is not trying to identify all right there you can see it is trying to give take one preceding only these are all the repetitive things there you can see i'm having c is optional over here so that it is having hat also cat bat rat all the 
optional character this is c is optional over there all right now we are having another one star now it is more or less it is a combination of both plus and question mark in such a way it is having zero or more quantifiers that is preceding character is optional now if you are going to make it at which will match you can see over here at cat all it will matches and also it is like the combination of plus and question mark all right now in a such a way if i'm going to give slash star what it mean it will exactly matches the star over here in a such a way this is the special character literally now if you want to match it with the c star at in that case if you having any string over here in that case this is you are looking for the exact or special character literally in which it will match as the exact value all right now another one negate notation now in a such a way i'm going to give negate c uh, negate notation you used to identify a character that should be should not match it within the range let assume if i'm going to give b notation a to c in that case it doesn't want to match in between then whatever it may be that you have inside that it will get all the values now let assume i'm going to take one more thing as ld we don't have that character okay now if you see i'm having bold over here this will o will match us check it out which is not there in the a to c then in that case it will be matches this is called as negate notation because the second character a to c are negotiating over there that's why you are going to get it as bold let us assume if i'm having b a l d but here the a is there right so it which is it is matching in between the character set that is a to c i'm trying to negate that one by using negate notation all right now we are having do notation which will match any digit letter or symbol except new line then in that case i'm going to use dot 8 let assume it will matches an eight character consists of letters numbers or symbols now we will talk about the groups all the special characters who have just mentioned only affect a single character or range set what if we want to affect to apply to the particular section of expression we can do that by creating groups using round brackets in a such a way we are going to use like this round brackets and then we'll give the expression inside that let us assume if i am having any value over here as a group then i will give it as 80 over here there you can see it's a section over here with the round brackets then it will try to identify the values in a such way which are there in the group let us assume if i am having dot com then i don't have this values as a group let us assume i am having basha at the rate of gmail dot com there you can see it is a group over here or the section over here which it is trying to identify as a single group here we are having more complex one in such a way that will identify the patterns using the email validation i'm going to give the exact pattern over here to make you identify there you can see i'm going to use a to z at the rate of w and then i'm going to use dot com there you can see i'm having all the characters right which are case sensitive and what not it will match us all the email validations all right we'll talk about more about the email validation in the next section but right now we'll talk more about the alternate characters alternate characters in the sense i will show you an example over here i am having sit and sat here alternate characters that i am having i and a now i want to identify this kind of things in that case what i will do i will give it's need to start with s and then we are going to use groups over there as round brackets and then the optional one or the alternate one right i am going to use this pipeline symbol over here which is equivalent and then i am going to use yes and then i am going to use t over here in that case if you see over here i am having sat sit sat 
all these matching characters will be given over here. This one we'll call it as parenthesis, right? So this is the pipe symbol to identify each side of the symbol it will affect to get all the matching characters. It's a kind of or we'll say a SIT or SAT that we have to get it by using alternative characters which is the part of pipeline symbol. All right, last but not least, we will learn about starting and ending patterns. You may have noticed that some of the positive matches are result of partial matching. In an example, if you want to write the pattern to match these string books will get as a positive match as well. Despite of not being matched exact match, we are going to get the notations over here. We can write our pattern as BOW. In that case, we are going to use dollar over here, which it will give the exact matches of our pattern. This will ensure that the last three characters matches the pattern. These are all the different types of characters which are available in the regular expressions.